like, you know, uh, things that you have to consider, like, you know, with your own place and even a car. So, and then not only like if you have a car payment, but the way gas has went down some, yeah. but you know, during the summer when gas was like was $5, yeah. uh, you back know, in, uh, back in my day when it was high, I used to steal it. Back in 2007, 2008, a long time ago. Maybe so angry. I now so wish. You used to steal it. Yep, I used to. I got and made you so angry when you 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 would be amazed how much my self hatred stemmed from the fact that I just that had the thin hair. That that if I could get my thin hair back, that would solve all my problems. I could I no nah, that would that would give me the strength I need to get overcome all these other things. But if I have to you know look like this, who cares? Just. I hate myself, but you know I love myself. But I hate I hate my body. I love myself, my but I hate my body. So you so you, you hate your physical appearance. I That's detest what it. What you're saying? That and by I I got a Photoshop, and if I can get my hair transplant, I I would be so happy if I could look like that. Oh my goodness, that oh my goodness that that was. I get twenty years off my life to look like that for the rest of my life and have. I'd rather have a short happy life. Well, a fulfilled life than a long life of just surviving because just surviving is not living. I don't want to be one of the just some some nameless face in the crowd. Just another face in the crowd. Average, plain and average. Being plain and average is the worst thing. The the worst thing can be just just another plain and average person just make, doing the best they can. So, but so these are things that is, they're kind of out of our control. So, how can we? I know you have a goal of like how you want to look, how you want your life to be. But you know, until we can determine if that if it's possible for us to like reach our goal, how are we in the meantime gonna like you know recap what we have? We had. Just don't break the law. Yeah, we, we want you to stay out of the hospital in jail. Yeah. But if only I can get on one of those talk shows and get my story out. Okay. As you so pay, maybe, um, maybe if, you, if you write down your story, like, what if you brought your I've own book? I've been trying that since two thousand. I've been trying that since 1999. They they won't like they won't bite they won't help me they don't think my story was worth a, worth a damn you know they that that they they don't think I'm worth it they don't, yeah. huh have your story already written down or like were you just trying to like them I've I've done I've done everything I've written that pre written down I've done videos I begged I pleaded I. I've acted professional, but nothing works. My resume sucks. My look sucks. So they look at me and they, what? Why should we help this piece of trash? They look at me and they think that because he, he's got nothing going for him. He don't look good. He's out he, he he he's not contributed nothing to society. I've write, I've written, I'm writing so, songs. So, well, keep it. Yes, ma'am. No, so I was going to ask, so typically, so you just name it a whole bunch of negative stuff. So you don't have any, like, positive things that have happened to you? Not in a long time. I've had negative things happen to me and, uh. Like, how long are we talking? Do what? What was the question again? Uh, how long have you, you like? Cause you said that you've had like negative things happen to you. Um, but so, uh, and I asked you how like have you had any positive things? And you said not in a long time. So I said, so how long has, has it been since something positive has happened for you? Let me think. Let me think. Well, getting out of the hospital, 
getting out of jail. The last thing that some did something to me was in 2007, Christmas 2007, no, Christmas 2006, when he gave me a free, uh, the CEO of our company gave me a free uh, eight track recorder so I could write songs, but I don't know how to use it, so, and nobody will help me, so I can't use it. This is in 2006, 2007, an eight track. Yep, uh, it, it's it's a it's not an eight track play, not that not the, that thing, but it's an eight track uh, device. You can record eight tracks and and write songs with it. Oh, because that wasn't. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. <laughs> not an eight track people, player, but um, eight eight eight. eight it, you can record tracks on eight tracks and mix them and make some master quality songs. Uh -huh. If only I knew how to freaking use it. My dad and my cousin would got, tried to help me one time, but they their lives are too busy. What I want is not important, so you know nobody's gonna waste their time helping me because what I want is trivial. I'm just what I want is trivial. They don't uh, nobody keep thinks I'm important. Nobody validates me, so you know. I'm just, I, all my stuff that me is the last and that struggle to me is chill crap to everybody else. Yeah. We have to go over. Um, Sorry, later you can call payback. Okay. We have to do some of. I don't know. Did you get a um a leak from us uh to do some assessments? Mm, what? I'm to... What are you talking about? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't see your name. So what? So I'm gonna add you. Well, maybe the invite was sent. Let me check. Uh, so no, it wasn't. Um, so I'm gonna. Um, it's uh, it's what we call blueprint. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, it's little assessments that you you have to do every so often. Um, but if you want to do them on your own, you can. But we can also do them during the session as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so just because people uh, will it'll be to your email. So I don't know how often you check your email. But like I said, if you want to do them on your own, you can. But yeah. we, uh, we can also do them during the session. I'm um, on. Okay. So. What, what are some things? Because oftentimes we, we get... Um, kind of wound up over everything that's going negatively for us, but, you know, we can't acknowledge the positive. So you did acknowledge that, you know, some of the, the positive you know, was years ago. But, yeah. you know, it's like hair transplant, like the um, the car, having like your own um, place, and then the money. Like, those are things that are out of your control. So how can we, like, you know, come up with some, some goals to kind of maybe make these things happen if you want to make them happen? What do you feel that you... Um, I wish I knew. I'm totally lost. I've tried everything, but nobody's... Uh, nobody... Nobody's... Nobody cares. No, nobody... Not, I, I, I'm I not a self-starter. I'm not self-motivated. I need people to help me along because when a second I run, run, run to a snag, I get fiercely angry. Like if I'm filling out a form on a computer and... I'm having trouble to get getting the information from through. I beat the computer. Well, so that's why I told you that we with those assessments we could do them during the session, so you don't, um, so you don't get frustrated like that. Yeah. Um, but definitely, so I think you you have to have some motivation. So if these are your goals, you have you can't really wait for anyone to like start them for you. You know, because so you have to self motivation. I don't know what to, I don't, I don't want to know where to start. I had no I, I don't know what to do. I I've tried everything I thought thought would help and uh, nobody 
I can't do it by myself. So as far as, so are there any other like avenues to go about like changing your hair? Like, um, uh, like, uh, something, well, no, I don't think, and that's the, that's the thing. So maybe like, have, have you, like, are you, are you losing your hair or? No, I take Propecia. I take, I take Finasteroid. And so that's supposed to help your hair grow? No, it keeps you from losing any more. Okay. Prevents the DHT from getting to your blood and causing the hair follicles to shrink. Okay. And so is this a medical issue or? It, these are the pills I take. <clears throat> Makes me angry I can't see too. I have to wear glasses. I want laser eye surgery. Well, so... Okay, let's see. This is a damn medication. Yeah, this is what I take once every day when I get up. Um, I, was in the, in the, I was in the hospital. They, they, they would not give me my head medications. So they uh -huh. deprived me of a civil rights and I want to sue them for not giving me my hair medication. Just because they think it's trivial, but that that the doctor prescribed it to me, I I demand that give me my full uh, doctor's medicines that they prescribe. So, you know they wouldn't they 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 they, they wouldn't feed me until I, until I bitched and griped and made them. So I want to sue them for de deprivation of my civil rights. If only I knew how to do it. That way, next time if I go to the hospital or something, that they, they'll they'll make a mental note. Make sure he gets his medications. So that's sometimes you gotta you got sometimes you gotta force people to give you your rights, cause they're not gonna give them to you. So I, but if you made the the squeaky wheel gets the the oil, the loudest student gets the attention. You have to fight. You have to fight for your rights here. I have to fight for my right to get my medication. You know that song. You gotta fight for your right to party. Screw partying. I just want the, my medication. And so, why did they say that they um they couldn't give you? They came up late with lame ass excuses. Oh, we we didn't get it yet. They're a hospital. They can give you the medication. I've been in there before. They gave me to me without fail. They just didn't want to this time because they looked like Lee, like a POS criminal. They, they look at the nurses would walk by and look at me like they will look at you like how what you looking at that they, they would look like leave me like that oh well you know maybe you could start with like uh the hospital you were at Lenore Memorial, mm -hmm. that's where you at? Yeah. So well, maybe they have what they call like a patient advocate. So maybe you can contact them. Okay. And let me see. I can let me see if I can Google it. See if it'll come up. Will you email to if you find it, will you email it to me? Please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. They will not deprive me of my civil rights again. They will not. I had my I'm, I had my right. The doctors prescribed the medica medications. It's legal. I demand my rights. Everybody else is doing it. Why shouldn't I? Okay. Well, so I found. Um Well, it's several ways. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste this and email it to and you. And thank you. Thank you so much. So it's a whole bunch of ways. Like, it's a whole bunch of organizations that you can um, file a complaint with. So I guess if you want to follow with every one of them. And if I sue them, I, I, if I sue them, I can sue them for the money for my hair transplant. <laughs> Make to turn lemonade, turn the lemon into lemonade. And you said it's the your email is the president Christopher 
at gmail.com. Yep. I mean, they have guys wanting to get sex changes and the government helps them. Why can't the government help me with this? <laughs> okay, so first, um, if you just want to call, um, like, UNC Lenore Healthcare, there's a number for their patient relations. That's the first one. Then um, they have a state quality improvement organization called KEPRO. They have a number for that. Then the state, um, North Carolina Division of Health Service Regulations, they have a number for that. Or with their national accreditation organization, it's called Joint Commission. They have a phone. Mm, then you have to go to the Joint Commission's website. But the other ones are phone numbers. Phone numbers are listed for the, the hospital, uh, the state numbers, and the national numbers are listed. So I'm about to send it to you now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so anything else you wanted to talk about? Mm, well, whatever we want to talk about, I guess. I just I'm, I keep trying to get oh, that. Oh, well, no, we actually, so we, we did. So we, we actually did. Um, so uh, work, ask, working on how to figure out how if these goals are, there are your goals, but sometimes we set goals and we may have to kind of like change or alter them based off of like, you know, things being out of our um, concern or out of our uh, hands. Mm -hmm. All right. So one more question. So I know you say you struggle with anger a lot. So is that a goal that you would like to work on as well? Like how to not be so angry, how to. Like not the one thing that uh, I nothing will get until I'm happy with that myself, you know, nothing can okay. nothing. I, and, and it goes back to the hair until I'm, you know, right now where I look in my, the mirror and the test what I see that you know, air, 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 no matter how many, I, 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 all I can do is uh, let not let my anger do anything that like get me and put in jail. Yeah, so that's what I, you know, I would like to work on, you know, until we figure out how yeah. to make yourself, like, how for you, how you to like yourself, I also implement coping skills where you don't get upset that you go to the hospital or to jail. Yeah. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and schedule... <laughs> And you got you got to love yourself per, first, because quite frankly, people most put, put, no, most people do not care. Like I had a psychiatrist back in nineteen ninety nine. And we, as long as he was getting his palm greased with money, my Medicaid, Medicare, he was all loving and kind and really cared. But when I went in to ask him a favor, I asked him to email over on my half, my half after I stopped seeing him. And he's like, no, he came out to see me. He was very unfriendly. He's like, look, I can't, I can't, I can't spend too much time to you. I, I'm going to have to start charging again. And he would not email over on my behalf. He refused to do it. He just did not care. People just don't care these days. Unless, uh, now I bet you had been a really good, uh, talented, good looking person, he might would have thought of, considered it. People would break the rules for guys that are uh, really good looking. People would break the rules for them. And, uh, super talented. That's just that, uh, but that's the unwritten rule of civil conduct. That, that, that's the rule that nobody confesses to following, but everybody follows. And so all we can do is like, you know, 
help you feel good about yourself by even if it's something small, like until we figure out how uh, if we need to alter what it goes or if there's another way to go around. So, all right. Yes, ma'am. Two weeks from now is October 10th. You want to do um, at 6? Uh, 5 because I have a uh, uh, Bible study Monday night. Seven. Okay, so I, don't, I have my 5 is already taken. So you want to do Thursday, October 13th at 5? That's open. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can do it at six on Monday. I, I, it won't take I, it won't take a whole hour to do. I'll get All right, on so Monday. October tenth. That will be Monday. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. Well, so definitely, uh, I want you to kind of like you know just start uh, like figuring out um, ways to help you like calm down um, and even thinking about. Like you know those complaints, so uh, you should get you should have gotten it by now. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about those numbers and stuff. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.